and welcome to the Audio File Baristas weekly vlog number 54 and this is where I talk about coffee, audio and other things that keep me busy and what is keeping me busy this week? Well, for one thing at the moment there is a heat wave in Rotterdam, the Netherlands so it is hot outside and in my home it means it is also hot inside if you have a look over here you can see it is 30 two degrees celsius in this living room so i am doing the vlog but it is pretty warm in here what else is keeping me busy well um, work is still okay so i'm still sitting here behind my laptop doing giving my trainings and i showed you last week this uh, bose headphone and these are actually let me see if I can show this to you. Actually, these are getting so much use that they are being broken. And well, the, the pads have broken. The headphone is working perfectly fine. So what I did was I ordered a fresh pair. And this is something that I'm going to replace today because I love these headphones and I really need them for this uh, for this work. So what else is keeping me busy? Well, if we look around, it is done with the surround sound setup and just having them, having them here together in order to decide what kind of uh, picture I'm going to take, which will be the picture that I use for the video on YouTube when it comes out. So these are gone. Time to get the Ocilias back. Of course, I want to do this uh, today, but as I just showed you, it is bloody hot in this room. So I don't know if I'm going to do this today or maybe wait for um, the evening and have, the, have it cool down a little bit. Another thing that kept me busy this week, well, it was a good week. And um, why was it a good week? Well, mostly because since a very long time, I went to the local thrift store. Oh, let me show you. If you look over there, around there, um, there is the local thrift store. And I had not been there for a while. Still not feeling very comfortable to go there um, because of all the, uh, the, the pandemic. But I went there and I got a nice little score. So let me show you what I got. Over here I got some um, CDs. Uh, Ravel, as you can see, uh, 50 cents and all the blue labeled uh, uh, stickers were actually another 50% off. So here we have the Bolero and it was actually 25 cents um, on Deutsche Grammophon. What else do I have? Some more Mozart. I like Mozart very much and most of the time things that are on the Decca label will sound pretty good also. What else? All right, I was very happy with this. Horowitz, the great piano player. Uh, Horowitz the poet, is this called? And for 95 cents, I was not going to leave it in the store. The CD looks even almost unused, so it's pretty new. What else do I have? Uh, Pergolesi makes some wonderful music, 75 cents. And I'm trying to score as many of the Naxos CDs as I can, just because this happened. I picked up a lot of these Naxos uh, CDs. What they do with Naxos is they make great music, but they keep the prices down by not using the, 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 the famous and expensive artists, but mostly artists that are not very um, famous, but are very well uh, artists, so they play great music. That's why these series are a little bit cheaper. What else do I have? Um, some Mahler, 
This is a little bit more heavy. That's Lied van der Erde. Um, very nice. I like this. Some Tori Amos for the collection. You know I'm collecting her. Uh, what do we have here? All right, because of all these cheap prices, I'm also into having these soundtracks. And Reservoir Dogs is, of course, a great movie. But also, if you look at the other side, on the top right over there, um, a little green bag, which is, of course, the iconic music in this uh, film. And this is from a Dutch band, so I'm a little bit proud of that. What else do we have here? Some Beethoven, also 50% off. This is nice. Some Valerie June, The Order of Time. I've never heard this one, but I was interested in a, um, a CD from her. So I got it right over here. This is a CD I already have, because sometimes for the CDs... <coughs> excuse me. Sometimes for the CDs that I really, really like, I pick them up when I get them for cheap and then I'll um, maybe give them some to somebody else as a, as a present. But uh, this is Oi Vavoy. Is this in focus? Oi Vavoy, Laughter Through Tears. This is a great album. I like the look of the artwork, but this is a great album. Another one that I already have, Melody Gardot. And these are CDs that I pick up because every now and then when somebody comes to listen or likes this music or as a present, um, this is perfect. Some Blu-rays also. I picked up the Born Legacy. I did not have this, this one. Um, this is interesting. Sean the Sheep. I love all the Aardman. Um, movies this is dvd unfortunately but this was even it is even sealed still so that's a nice addition for the uh, for the collection great movie i had this one on dvd and not yet on blu-ray now this is of course a film that already looks very distorted and old and beat up. So I don't know if, it is, if there is a point to having this on Blu-ray, but for just a few bucks, I will. Same is Captain America, another edition. I'm not completely into all these series, but if they're just a few bucks, I will pick them up. And the last one is Bad Boys 1 and 2. I like those films, especially if they use the, the, the car, a Cobra, in there, which is one of my favorite cars. Not much into cars, but I have my favorite, of course. So that is what I got from the thrift store, which makes me very happy. Over here you still see all the cabling that came from the um, surround sound setup. It's amazing how much meters of wire you need for just a few of these loudspeakers but these have um, all kind of banana plugs on them and for example this one everybody knows this one the nakamichi ones but they always sound and feel like they just got loose and even when you turn them after a few seconds, it feels like they are already loose again. So I don't like these very much. So I picked up another box of these banana plugs. These, uh, they, they take bigger, thicker wire. They don't have something to screw on like, like this right over here. And that also makes them a lot uh, wider, so they take up more space at the rear of your um, amplifier. And especially on an AV receiver, like I just used, it gets pretty crowded. And then a smaller one is actually what you want. And these, these are okay. I like to use these, so I'm going to change all these banana plugs and 
replace them with these and these are I got them on Amazon we now have Amazon Netherlands and um, these are just perfect I like these okay so what else oh one last thing this morning I was looking at a video from Kura Wong if you have never heard of him he has a wonderful channel about headphones as you can see over there and headphone amplifiers um, I talked about my headphones last week but this guy really he, this is a good channel so take a look at it today he had something about five things he didn't like about the audiophile community and I was more or less uh, completely in agreement with him but the reason I want to show him to you the last few weeks because every now and then all these boys um, like the, 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 the audiophiliac and, and all the other big boys um, I'm blanking out on their names right now but sometimes they will have in the same weeks the same kind of um, topics that they do and this guy a few weeks ago and John Darko and the audiophiliac and well you know all the guys apparently they made a discussion or uh, they agreed on doing the same topic and this time it was is a perfect measuring so technical measurements is a perfect measuring device also a guarantee for perfect sound and all of them every single one of them said no it is not and sometimes I have these discussions on online about people that will say well if it doesn't measure good it doesn't sound good but apparently the big boys do not agree with those people and for me knowing that I have had some very nice uh, amplifiers which in the reviews always uh, they said these things do not measure very well but they sound great and so this was nice to hear that um, yeah Kuda one make sure you get a look at this channel if you haven't yet okay so before it is getting even warmer in here because I'm sweating like a pig as they say um, I'm going to wrap it up here this was the weekly vlog thank you for watching somewhere next um, week uh, oh wait I'm forgetting something this Friday like two weeks ago I have another room tour from a system of one of my subscribers so make sure to tune in next Friday next fr coming Friday and have a um, I have a new movie about a new system from one of you subscribers and in this case it is even it is very interesting just like the other ones and this is a guy that has also made his own audiophile loudspeakers so make sure to tune in okay see you next week somewhere between monday and friday because i don't have a regular day as you know and thank you for watching